What's good, everybody? It's Benny Don't Miss, and I'm back at you again today. I know it's been a while. I know it's been a while. Before I start this video, I want to say all opinions and views expressed on this channel are solely mine and protected by the First and Fourteenth Amendment. Fonny Willis, as you know, the one that's behind why sell indictment getting thug locked up she really out here making a name for herself and this new story here this is a similar story across the nation but especially to those who stay in atlanta or around fordson county y'all remember when the protests kicked off man wait until y'all see this Let's get into it. Charges tonight after being arrested for pulling two college students. Man, y'all, uh, this is freaking nuts. Let's get into it. From their car in the summer of 2020. <laughs> you may remember that body camera video, and you can see the officers pulling the students from a car. That was during a protest over the killing of George Floyd. Channel 2 investigative reporter Mark Winnie has an exclusive interview with the special prosecutor who decided to clear those officers of any wrongdoing. And Mark, you also talked with the lawyer who said he knows how difficult it is to have law enforcement held accountable. As special prosecutor Samir Patel says an in... Man, them boys protected. Y'all already know the biggest... Man, anyway, don't get me started on that. Counter near Centennial Olympic charges Park tonight. Park led to charges being against for six officers. Some felonies. Man, y'all, this one is freaking nuts. Let's get into it. From All obtained the by the office of then Fulton County District Attorney Paul Howard through a judge, but Howard's successor... You Bonnie Willis opted out of the case for a conflict, and, and the attorney general from a appointed Patel. That was during a protest over the killing. She of opted out because of conflict of interest. Has an exclusive interview. I'm gonna have to do my research on that. Who decided to clear those officers of any wrongdoing? Mark also talked with the lawyer, this who said he knows how difficult made, it is to have uh, upset quite a few people. Held accountable. But I, I cannot let that come into As my mind when I make this determination. Man, I'm going to protect it. Y'all already know the biggest thing. Man, anyway, you know, don't get me started on that. Is to decline prosecuting in this matter. Samir Patel says his main job is district attorney for Bartow and Gordon counties, but last year he assumed the job of special prosecutor to determine whether six Atlanta police officers just did their jobs or broke the law. May 30th, 2020, at the chaotic. So that wasn't the same guy. Their jobs were broke. She opted out because of conflict of interest. That's not the same dude right here. That's not the same guy. Just in a suit. That's not the same guy with a different suit. Anyway. Police made, officers just uh, did their jobs or people, broke the law on May 30th, 2020 at the chaotic epicenter of protests and more in downtown Atlanta in their encounter with college students Messiah Young it's a blessing that I'm alive and, and Tania Pilgrim. He felt like we were going to die in that car. And that he's determined to prosecute. And that's at the height of everything that was happening in Atlanta around that time, man. Well, it's just, is district attorney it's so weird that, I don't know, it's just to make them make that decision, I guess the reason comes to surprise, but it surprised me. Foreman criminal charges related to the incident against AP so officers the same Ivory guy? Streeter, Lonnie Hood, Mark Gardner, Roland Claude, Claude, Willie Sauls, and Armand Jones there's must six be lab. dismissed. That's These not the same dude right no here. That's not the same guy. Just in a in suit. In August, I asked the That's GBI not the same guy with a different suit. Which was anyway. increasingly difficult for them because I was asking them to investigate the something that happened over a year before. And they did an amazing job. So was it that because it was over a year ago? that the evidence wasn't fresh, that they, the that they would only be able to wait. And they would be able to go off a body count footage. That that around that time, like they broke into, just, the, they broke into these so young weird, people's car, I don't destroyed know, their windows, a, to make them tased make them, I guess the reason comes as a pulled but them out of the car, and zip-tied the guy, at least I saw him zip-tied. Patel says the encounter occurred on the first night of a 9 p.m. curfew set by then Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. That could have dealt with them. That could have dealt with them. Therefore, sustaining the injury as soon as they hit the ground. Like, oh, I don't get it. In an apparent effort to distinguish those peacefully protesting the murder of George Floyd, 
from and others wanting to wreak havoc. He cited civil talk. service testimony so from was it that because it was over a year ago that the evidence was wasn't fresh? That they were sitting on a powder keg. These officers were ordered to detain individuals in violation of the curfew. Like they broke into the DA says Young, who was at the wheel of the car, police stopped downtown about 44 minutes after the curfew, and Ms. Pilgrim maintained they were unaware of the curfew. Pulled them out of the car and zip tied the guy. At least I saw him zip tied. That could have dealt with them. That could have dealt with them. They were sustaining injuries as soon as they hit the ground. Like attempts to obtain compliance, they refused. And these officers used the force they deemed necessary and reasonable. The DA says after the first encounter, Young moved the car a short distance. But in the second, he accelerated with an officer leaning into his vehicle. And in the third encounter, once open window was up and the once open driver. Door was locked. Okay. Okay. That kind of explains why they probably did what they did. Okay. Okay. What happened to my uh, pilgrim? Pedestrian, possibly a friend. It was. Nearby. The tale says Ms. That pilgrim, who had complied with the officer's direction in the first stop to get back to the car, began to comply in the third minutes, then initially then pulled it back in and was tased. Then an officer smashed the window by Young. And he was tased twice. Then an officer smashed the window by Young. 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 Then an officer smashed the window